Kathy Wood's flagship ARK Innovation ETF was once known for diehard fans who stuck with the fund even after heavy losses these past few years. But now some of those loyalists might be bailing. That is the focus of today's Tech Check with Deirdre Bosom. Hey, Dee. Yeah, so Carl and Sarah, if you're losing even the loyalists, at a time when tech is roaring back, you may need a rebrand. ARK stays as a pandemic darling. They seem to be over. The flagship fund was down 23% in 21, 67% last year. Even the ETF's rebound of nearly 60% this year, that's not bringing investors back. And rather, it's looking like an opportunity for many of them to get out net outflows of more than $230 million this year. I raised this with Kathy Wood herself on Friday evening during our Tech Check special. Our asset retention has been spectacular. I think everyone would agree with that. Uh, asset retention through 21 and 22. Uh, we are up more than 50%, some of our funds 60% plus. Uh, so there would be natural profit taking. I do think we're beginning to see uh, investors shift from the NASDAQ 100 or NASDAQ take take maybe losses or gains there and into uh, our innovation fund because I think the values when it comes to innovation are in our fund. It would need to be a lot of investors and a lot of dollars or at least a lot of upside to get even close to pandemic highs. You're looking at that chart. Assets under management at its peak near $30 billion. Today, that's less than $10 billion. Now, much of that is due to investment losses, not necessarily people taking money out of the fund. But over the last 12 months, investors, they've also pulled a net $740 million from ARK Innovation. There's another reason, though, that investors might not be so willing to move their money. It's more expensive. ARK's annual uh, fee is 0.75% versus 0.2% for the NASDAQ 100 ETF. That's the QQQ. Perhaps, though, the biggest knock against Kathy Wood is this longer-term chart, and she always urges us to think long-term. Despite that huge pandemic performance, ARK, the flagship fund, has underperformed the NASDAQ and the NASDAQ 100 since its inception in 2014. And, you know, it's underperforming a lot of the big names. There was that NVIDIA uh, earlier this year she got out of in the flagship fund entirely.